Alright ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, we just had a drop, uh, a patch drop or what have you, and I'm mad as, I'm, bro, I'm mad as now because I just did this entire video, 12 minute video, 13 minute video, on mute. So, we're going to go back through this, and it's definitely not going to be that. It's going to be around 8 this time, but don't worry about it, because we got you covered. If you came here for the patch notes and all of that good information, what's happening with the patch and everything like that, I got you covered, man. So, don't if you don't do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video, because every time you like the video, it helps us get closer to that oh-so-coveted 100K that we searching for this time, man. We trying to get there, man. If y'all can do that for me, just like the video, man. I would really appreciate it. And like I said, without further ado, man, let's just get right into the news man like I, I know i know you a lot of you guys probably woke up this morning and uh you saw this right here man you saw this patch the patch is about 1.44 gigs uh whatever it's patch 1.007 and this is what they had to say about it nba 2k uh nba 2k 22 update 1.007 patch details today uh this uh september the 20 or uh, the 30th hey it's almost it's almost it's almost october man it's almost like they say it's almost october we, we going after the ops hard in October. Or was it, or is it Racktober? I don't know what it is, man, but it's gonna be something, man. But y'all let me know, let me know what it is down in the comment section. Anyway, a brand new NBA 2K22 patch has arrived hours, uh, in the early hours of this morning. Uh, and although the launch was positive, uh, positive reviews across the board, the game has quite a few issues or what have you. Uh, pretty much, uh, look, this is, what, this is the main thing right here. One of the latest issues is that Xbox users who have, who have, I mean, Xbox users who have found their consoles completely shutting down when playing NBA 2K or other sports games. It ain't 2K or other sports games. It ain't nothing but 2K. 2K is literally the only game that's shutting these consoles down. Call of Duty was doing it at one point. They dropped a whole nother version that was optimized for the S and the X so that that wouldn't happen anymore. We had no more problems with that. NBA 2K21 and 22 are the only games that are shutting down Xbox consoles. Don't let them fool you. It ain't nothing else. It's just that. And it's shutting down uh, PlayStations 2 because I got some people saying, man, every time I try to load into my career, I can't even play the game. So don't let me know if it's shutting down your console if you're on Xbox or PlayStation because I know people on both sides that are getting the same thing. Anyway, hopefully today's uh, September you know, 30th, uh, the NBA 2K22, you know, with some important bug fixes and all of that. So this is the stuff that we got from Reddit. They said they had some information from Reddit, and this is what we got. The size of the patch, uh, like we already said, was uh, between 800 and 1.44. So we got that. PlayStation user reporting that the latest update is around 800, while Xbox users are reporting that the patch is around 1.44 uh, gigs, which is what we got. Unfortunately, no official of, uh, details for the new uh, 2K22 are announced yet. What we do know, and uh, like I said, this is from Reddit. Unable to load custom rosters in 2K Freestyle, I uh, have 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 to use the workaround loading the rosters in the blacktop. So that's one thing. Saving and quitting an NBA game resets the player indicator and the uh, green sound effects. So like when I when I save and quit a game, sometimes I come back and I don't have skibbity pat skibbity pat pat, and I'm not freestyling or what have you. And uh, legacy issues, it just says that players, uh, my player invisible during the championship. Uh, however, no official uh, no official uh details have been dropped i've been waiting all morning i've been looking at this thing man i have no official details but we do know one thing that that consoles are getting shut off because right here we got your boy joe no says why does nba 2k22 randomly shut down my system uh anyone else having the issue and uh one day i said it's current and next gen obviously it's next gen and uh, i just rolled two hours of double reps so y'all know where i'm going I hit two hours of double rep. Where do you go? You immediately go to the wreck. Y'all gonna see what happens when we go over there. And obviously he says next, and then one guy says I had the issue all of 2K21, which is I just mentioned. Brute had the issue all of 2K21 also. Tried so many fixes, had to completely switch to PS5 because of that. We don't know what was shutting down the consoles. We don't know why they were shutting down. We literally have no clue you know what what's going on uh with the thing man we just know that it's, it's shutting down consoles and we have not been able to fix it xbox put out a patch that was supposed to fix it uh you know some other people you know that they've been trying to fix it man but it there's just been no fix uh in the works that actually has worked hopefully they get it right this time on to other news your boy sam fam man he has said that 
He's confirmed what I've been telling y'all for the last three weeks, man. Glue hands is the most important shooting badge in the game. Now, I know what you're thinking. Jay, Jay, how is glue hands an important shooting badge? Listen, man. Glue hands not only lets you catch the ball, but it lets you catch the ball in shooting position earlier. So when you catch that ball, you're ready to just fire that thing. You're ready to just fire it and get it off your chest or whatever as soon as you get it. Uh, it just You just catch the ball in a better, and even if you roll into the rim, you catch it in a better thing. Like I said, Sam Fam, in conjunction with NBA 2K Labs, uh, you know, they confirmed what we and Brute have been telling y'all for the last three to four weeks, that this is clearly the best shooting badge in the game. And uh, I'm gonna do a shooting badge list for y'all, man, but uh, you know, you just got to wait right there. And that's what's happening in the wreck. I tried to get into the wreck, can't get in. Tried again, can't get in. Tried again, can't get in. Now, by the time you see this video, you may be able to get in, but at the time of making the video, which was right after the patch, I wasn't able to get in. And like I said, Sam Fam still showing y'all. There we go yet again, I'm not able to get in. Sam Fam showing y'all, like I said, not only is this a good, good uh, finishing badge, but very good shooting badge because it allows you to catch the balls uh, like those flashes that Brute loves to throw to me. Um, it lets you catch those in a better position to do what it is that we want to do. And that's fire gas! So, you know, uh, sorry about that. I hit the mic there. And uh, last but not least, your boy Joe Knows just says, little advice for the Comp Pro-Am guys getting into uh, producing content. Remember that 90% of your YouTube viewers are casual 2K players. Anytime you are able to show them the split second decisions you are making on both sides of the ball, it will help them appreciate just how good you guys are at the game. This will not only help uh, help your brand, but also uh, help draw viewers to the to the league. People like to watch what they can't do, so uh, so help them understand what makes a 2K player different from the normal player. Uh, let me see, I've been enjoying the content so far. And I've been enjoying the content too so far and stuff like that, man. But let me tell y'all something, man. The NBA, the NBA 2K community is a little bit different than other communities. Most people do enjoy watching the things that they can't do, but the 2K community is a little bit different. They wanna watch what's within arm's length of what they can do. So that's why Park is the most, the park and uh, what's the other most popular? So that's why Play Now is the most popular game because they just, they just wanna do stuff. They just wanna play. And then you got Park and uh, my team is the, are the next two most popular games. Obviously, Park is the most popular because it's, it's more accessible. My team is more profitable because for obvious reasons. And then you got Stage, because people, like I said, that's within the arm list of them. And then you got Comp Pro-Am, even though we have a professional league, Comp Pro-Am is more popular than the actual professional league because why? It's that the professional league is not attainable for the average person, but for before the average person uh, that actually want to watch it and be a little bit more comp or what have you, that's that's why you know Comp Pro Am is there with the with the leagues that anybody can get into and stuff like that. That's why those are a lot more popular. Which hints why you got guys like like my boy Sid Six Seven and all them guys right there. They they do Comp Pro Am. I'm in there. Fanta, all those guys you know, stage and program. I'm in there all the time, man. Um, and and these guys are incredible. Lag out, incredible. All these guys are clearly better than any content creator that we know. And then you got the guys like Chuck, uh, Timely Cook, uh, Bear the Beast, Dimes. All these guys are clearly head and shoulders above everybody else. But even though the Twitch views are there because like I said that's that's a twitch is more of a I get I feel like twitch is more of an adult crowd and you got a lot of kids there too but YouTube is is more of a uh more of the kid crowd super casual crowd you and, and it's just the views are just not there for that game type in in uh on YouTube the last person I knew that really came up off of pro am and comp pro am and stuff like that was K Spade and 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 you know the night crew and I still can't get in here to use my double rep man I'm anyway like I said, I don't know if you're gonna really come up, come up off of Comp Pro Am. If the biggest thing that I would tell those guys to do, go to the park and do what everybody else do. Go to the park for a little bit, a, a couple of games, make everybody look silly, like every other big content creator does. Make them guys look silly. Draw them in with your superior gameplay in the park and in the stage and stuff like that. And then once you get a following, then you can pretty much do what you want to. But I don't really know anybody that just posted Comp Pro Am. And, and and really came up. I could be wrong, but like I said, as far as I know with the 2K community, people really just like to watch the things 
that they that they can do. It ain't like real life where we watch football because we can't do that. Well, I used to be able to do that, but you know what I'm saying? Like it's, these things are incredible to us. That's why. But but in 2K, it's a little bit different. We glorify the glitches. We glorify the cheeses, cheesers. We glorify all this stuff. And at the highest level, it really feels like just super cheesing to the max. Cause they ain't nobody go. Cause they know if I if I don't cheese. And then you even cheese one time, I could probably lose the game. So they're going to cheese at the highest level. So I feel like you are right. You do have to break it down and show them what you're doing and and, and why, you, why you're so good and stuff. But at, at the same time, I think a lot of them just don't care. They just want to see some entertaining gameplay. So my biggest advice to them would be just go to the park, uh, get some very entertaining gameplay, catch everybody's attention. Same thing Chalk did. Go to the park. Get entertaining gameplay, catch everybody's attention like that. Once you once you catch everybody's attention, then you can do whatever you want to. You can you can spread it out and do all the same thing Joe did. Go to the park and make some bills, make entertaining gameplay, suck people in, and then you can do whatever you want to as far as the pro am. But I just don't see like at the highest level, I just don't see a whole bunch of interest there. And it's really weird because like with Madden, the tournaments are lit. Doggone Call of Duty tournaments lit. Apex Legends tournaments lit. But in 2K, it's just not that way unless it's like a, unless it's like a uh, MPBA tournament or something like that. And like I said, that's because those are the ones that are attainable. Those have the most accessibility. 2K, the things that have the most access, it's like it's like inverse uh, to the real world. The things that have the most accessibility in 2K are the things that are most popular. But in the real world, uh, the things that have the least accessibility are normally the things that are the most popular. But that's just all I got to say about that, man. If you if you really want to start hitting, go out there and make some scrubs look silly in the park, post those gameplays, make it look like you're incredible, get that get that viewership up, and then do what you do. That's pretty much what everybody else has done. I don't think we can argue like the, those, the guys that I've mentioned are some of the best in the league. You know what I'm talking about? Cool and Young and all that, man. My boy Cool and Young and all them. Like those guys are, they head and shoulders above the rest, man. Like they, they really good players and like they don't, they won't get the recognition because you have to do, you got to come down where everybody is, where the common things are, get your fan base up and then you can go to it. Same thing Sid did. Sid had to play park a little bit and get to 99 and all that and do all this stuff right there. And now he can do comp pro-am, simply do that. And he didn't got his, his contracts with the other outlets and stuff like that. But he had to come down to the park for a little bit, you know what I'm talking about, and get that 99 in my career, stuff like that. He had to, he had to come down and mingle with, with everybody else first, get that fan base up, and then he doing it, man. Now he doing his damn thing, I can't even lie to you. That's my dog, I watch him every night. So, uh, that's, like I said, this is my thing. Like, with, that's that's how it is with the 2K community. I, I just don't know if you're able to, because if you, if you, if, you, if that was really possible, I think Dimes would be like, Dimes, like there was a time when Dimes was like the biggest name in 2K. But, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think the interest just wasn't there. Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you understand what I'm saying. Y'all let me know if y'all have any interest in. What do y'all have the most interest in? Do you have any interest in Comp Pro-Am? Do you have any interest in Rec? Because nobody don't really watch Rec unless it's Chris Moo. Uh, or you just watch Park videos and then you just want to have fun and figure out what's the easiest way to, to drop somebody off. Uh, I'm out of y'all next time, man. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, please.